fuck is the deal? Yo, YouTube, we got a repair. So, as y'all can see, I'm sitting here just like this, because it's fucking slow. Whatever. What? Somebody find me something to do? No, no work. I right, had one job today. Um, possibly another if the mother if he brings his fucking car back. So I hope he brings his car back. If he needed his car for a second, but whatever. So I've been sitting here doing shit. I even try to clean up my fucking work area. I made 50% progress. The other 50% takes a lot of fucking time that I don't have. I don't fucking feel like it. whatever. So uh, I'm gonna do a tool review on this joint, and I, I got the perfect tool for y'all. And this is a tool I got from fucking Harbor Freight. And this tool, yo, know, this joint is beneficial, getting me through a lot of tight fucking spots and shit. And it comes as like a two on one type deal. So I'll let y'all know in a fucking minute. And yeah, that's what the fuck I do. So make sure y'all hit that like button. Make sure y'all fucking subscribe too. And my phone is going off too. Alright, so let's begin this goddamn review. And I'm gonna show y'all in a second what the fuck we're gonna be fucking talking about. So, this shit I got from fucking Harbor Freights and shit. And this was fucking inexpensive. It was fucking cheap. It was one of the fucking tools you should definitely fucking get. I'm fucking recommending this shit. Are you ready? One, two, three. Bam. This shit. So, let's flip it around. So, that way you can see. So, as you can see on the side, I mean, in the front of it, very front, it's written uh, Pittsburgh. Um, I've had this tool for... Uh, I think uh, a year and some change, a year or two, I'm not sure. I only went through one of these. I use this tool when I get into some jams and I'm in a tight spot and I need something with a low profile fucking head. You see how it has two heads on it. It has the three eighths and then it has the quarter inch. And like I said, it's pushing to lock the uh, socket in a place. Um, let me get some fucking sockets for you and shit. So, put this uh, 10, what is it, 10 millimeter uh, 3 8 uh, socket on here so it don't push in you gotta lock it into place so it's in there and I'm gonna put my I got a seven what is this seven millimeter uh, deep uh, quarter inch socket so I'm gonna put that in there and once again it locks in you can't just put it on so this shit not going anywhere that's what I like about this fucking tool too so, uh, besides the fact that it's flex head, and it's just like the last video I did with the uh, zero degree flex fucking ratchet wrenches, it's very fucking similar except for you get a quarter inch head and you get a three eighths fucking head. Um, so let's flip it around, let's talk about it some more. We already talked about how it flexes. So it has a little lever, a little switch bullshit that you can switch from on and off or left to right, however you want to put. So this way is for all uh, going on, and this way is the opposite way there is for taking it the fuck off and shit. Actually tightening and righty tighty and then if I can get it to move back then taking it off. So that's that. I don't need to get in fucking details about that. And the same thing goes for this fucking head and shit. Now, like I said, this is a good tool. I think you definitely should get this. It's very low, pro low profile. Let me pull out a Maco one again so we can fucking see. So I got a 17 millimeter, my Maco one from the last video I did, the set I have. And let's can compare it to the two. Quality wise, it feels the same. Um, this one's a little bit more shinier, even though that don't fucking make any, uh, doesn't make any sense, but as far as uh, characteristics and shit like that, uh, you can see the fucking difference. Like I said, it flexes. It flexes as well, same fucking degree. Definitely same fucking degree. Um, bending it, there's no flexing it. There's, if you strong as fuck, you can get it to flex a little bit. But all in all, this bitch ain't going to fuck nowhere. The only thing I recommend, uh, excuse me, I'm talking louder because the guys in here are fucking talking and shit. My fault. Let me get back to it. But all in all, ain't too much done. Ain't too much comparison going on with this. Let's just leave this right there because that's fucking irrelevant. I just wanted to compare how the heads both fucking flex. I mean, flexing shit or whatever. So, I kinda, I don't even know the name of this. I, I'm on a couple minutes in in this fucking review and I don't know the name of this shit, but I quickly looked it up real quick. It is a dual, uh, I think a dual ratcheting wrench or some shit like that, whatever. I'll leave the full name in the fucking title and in the description. 
and a link to the Harbor Freight site. So you know what to look for. Go get the part number or the school number and take your ass down to fucking Harbor Freights and go get you this fucking dual head fucking ratchet wrench and shit. So um, price of it is $29.99. Pretty sure it comes with some type of lifetime warranty, durability, longevity. I feel like this is a long lasting tool. I haven't had one that broke on me because this is my only one. Don't need no adjustments, like tightening up this fucking screw right here. No no adjustments, no nothing. It works good every fucking time. Like I said, I use this to get in tight spots that uh, I barely have rum to get through the things because the fucking head of the fucking ratchet I'm using is thick as fuck. So let me go ahead and pull out a 3 8 fucking ratchet so that way you can see in comparison how thickness of the head, how this is a low profile one versus the standard ratchet. This is a, a beat up, uh, still works. I gotta get the new teeth in it. Probably send this back to the snap my motherfuckers. But this one, see how thick the head is? All right, so let's do a comparison. Right? See the difference? Like I said, being as though it flex makes this fucking perfect to sneak in and fucking tight ass spots and do what you gotta do instead of trying to get one of these fucking bad boys in here or you want to try to get one of these up in here. This is flex. That's flex one. This is this foot long, um, three eighths, 12 inch ratchet wrench. I mean, not ratchet wrench, but regular fucking wrench with a ratchet, uh, a swivel fuck, uh, flip ahead that, uh, fucking flex and shit. Um, this one compared to this, like I said, this one you will make out better using this one unless you're taking off something that's fucking tight. You might want to go with something like this. Don't fucking remove anything that's tight as fuck with this because it could break the fucking the gear, the teeth, and the fucking head and shit. So that's that. In comparison, like I said, the head is definitely fucking thinner with wires. We can fucking see that and shit. And like I said, your choice of ratchet, whatever you want to fucking use, it's up to you. But if I'm doing something that doesn't require a lot of fucking like a 10 millimeter photo or 15 or, you know, a 13 or 11 or 12 or shit like that or whatever, I could use this for anything like, you know, a 19 millimeter bolt or, or 21, whatever. If it's fucking on there tight as fuck, don't go for this. Pick out something better that's more fucking durable and shit. Use these or whatever fucking ratchet I'm fucking using. Because, like I said, ratchet wrenches aren't designed for heavy amounts of fucking torque when backing off shit. And maybe tightening it to a certain degree. You could break it as well on that. Like I said, I haven't broke this. This is my only one. And if I gotta buy another one, I'll buy another one. It is what it is. But I've stuck to this one for God knows how long. Well, I said a year. So I guess, well, two years. I think I remember. I had this for two years. So, it's that. So, um... What else should I conclude about this and shit? I already talked about the price. I gave you a little description. I compared it to the ratchet wrench and uh, the fucking regular ratchet and shit. Um, I'm show you about the sockets and shit and how it locks on the fucking place and shit. I told you the type of jobs I use this for, hard to reach fucking places and shit. And it has a flex head, a great fucking angle. It's $29.99. This is a good tool for fucking beginner mechanics. If you're in Harbor Freight and you're trying to buy, decide, hey, I got some extra money, I wanna buy some fucking tools, what should I fucking buy? You should buy this. This should be in your fucking toolbox and shit. Now, there may be another version of this, oh, yeah. Mac Snap-on, I don't know, it's up to you, but this is Harbor Freight. It's fucking good, I like it, it's fucking Gucci, and that's all I got to talk about this shit. So the link to where you can find this and the part number and screw number, all that shit will be found in the description and where you can buy it at or whatever. You get it from your local Harbor Freight. But like I said, we can get thorough information on anything about this tool as far as, you know, product review, description, information, specification, all that old bullshit or whatever. So I got my engine. Yo, what year is it? What year is it? When, when am I getting it? What year is this? Oh, all right. So that's what that. Year, Sorry for what cutting what it year, off. Um, I'm getting out of here. So okay. it's your boy Leak Auto Repair. Okay. Signing out. Make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you guys fucking subscribe and shit. Any questions, comments, concerns, you know of a better tool, you know of the other tool that can be compared to this, leave it in the fucking comments. If you fucking have this and you like it, 
Let it's, me know why you like it and why you bought it. So that's that. Hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Over.